Oh, yeah. And um, so obviously, yeah, he put it, he, he, you know, anything I need to know, he's, he's there to tell me. Come on, come on. Good, Jack. Good, Good. Yeah. Come on, Jack. Come on, Come on, Jack. 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 Come on, Come on, Jack. 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 That's something you realise as well. Yeah, he's, you know, he's in brilliant shape for his age, and he's like, no, as everyone says it. And that's what makes me think, well, that's why I think I'd look to keep up, because if I can still be like that when I'm 50, I might, might be an ugly bastard like him, but I might still have the body. <laughs> Vanity, yeah. yeah, like we all did when we was young. Yeah, yeah. She used to go down the beach and let the women have a look. <laughs> That's what it was for. Yeah, keeping yourself fit. That was the second bit. The first bit was just to see how you could look. That's what most people do. Oh. What would you say? It's vanity at all? What, what, vanity? Yeah. What would you no, say? no, I don't at all. No, I think you know people do would accuse you of that. Yeah. You know, and uh, they they sort of like see you as a narrow-minded person, maybe for it. But if they can't understand that, that's what makes you feel good. If that's what makes your life enjoyable, then I think you know they're the narrow-minded ones, in my opinion. Would you say uh, you're vain? Would you say you're well, vain? I suppose you've it got is. To be yeah, vain, you've got you to be up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, seemed, it seems strange saying you're vain, and I look like the back end of a bus. It's all part of it, it is part of it, yeah. There's something up there that makes you do it. About a lot of the young lads coming into the gym. When you look at them, you can normally find that there's something um, missing or lack. Oh, I think this is personally, there's something, they're doing it for a point. You know, you could have had blokes here with marriage breakups. You know, I've told you someone's gone up with their wife who's a bodybuilder, and then they go bodybuilding. As soon as you leave the gym, you know, track weight, any sort of form of training. There's a release of you know endorphins. It is like a, nat a natural, you know, it's like a natural painkiller, anything like that. And you can just feel that all the way through the week when you're back into it. You know, you feel better, you feel, you feel stronger, and it's just a general better feeling. Personally, I used to like it and have a drink after. You know, there's a pattern to sort of training. You get this reward. Would you say it's sort of like a little community here? Like, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You come in, everybody knows each other. Yeah, and there's quite a competitive side to it and all, and that's all positive in, in, in weightlifting and bodybuilding, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, just quickly, would you say like, it makes you a lot more confident uh, doing this? Like, the training, would you say? It's training. Has it changed you sort yeah, of I've, as I've, a person? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that training could um, help you at any point in your life because you learn to get that that drive and want for something. And I think it can help you in anything with career, relationship, you know, because you learn to get that drive yeah. and that discipline. Uh, my own wife, my first wife, yeah. Um, I used to do all the weight training and she went up with another woman. Yeah. So I was knocking my yeah. bollocks out and she weren't even appreciating having a good body. <laughs> She's after a woman's body. Yeah. <laughs> ah, woman! Go on. Another. Maybe that's why I don't like women in the gym. Oh, so, subconsciously. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, no. Oh. Turn on, lads! Bye! Call me an ambulance. <laughs> Let's do a last one. <laughs> ah.
Fantastic.